This episode is about replacing the discs on the T-Max. And pads. So we have front brake pads, front brake pads, rear brake pad, front disc, front disc, rear disc. Metal Gear discs made in Brisbane, Australia. Uh, made in America, made in Australia, made in Australia, I believe, or made in Italy. I'm not too sure about these. Can you see how pitted, there you go, with that you can see just how pitted that disc is, grooved, and then on the other side, hopefully you can see the same thing, yeah, that's disgusting, let's, let's just get in a little bit closer and see, oh yeah, look at that, you can definitely see, that's disgusting, so, all three discs are being replaced, uh, enjoy my video, okay, so you might hear the heater, it's over there, I apologise if you do. Alright, so this is an impact driver. First thing you want to do is make sure it actually turns the way you want it to turn, otherwise you could snap a thread. That one's off. That one comes state that I'm in for this to pass a roadworthy it requires two new discs. Oh that's a new pad. This is all new as well. I I don't know the talk of this. This is all new done by the previous mechanic. Start taking off a couple of the bolts up here, clean the piston and then I should be able to pull the wheel off. Lefty loosey righty tidy. Wasn't even that tight to begin with. Mm. Yeah, this one wasn't yet. Yeah, well, uh, that's not good. If the previous mechanic has not done these up tight at all. That's kind of scary, to be honest. Here comes the hammer. This is why it's always good to have. There's probably some mechanic out there going, Don't do this! That's wrong! The discs on this... Oh, it's severely... Severely pitted. You know what? Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Yeah, look at that. You can see that. That's disgusting. We're going to remove this guy first. He is 19 mil. I don't know what that is in Imperial as I use metric and lefty loosey. Let's see if we can get him off. Very nice. Maybe. Good washer. Right. Well, good news is that's not a crush washer. It's just the normal one. And the thread is intact. Now it looks like at some point this guy has used a little bit of thread locker. Now, I don't have any thread locker, which is annoying. Okay, it's just going to be right, 12 mil. Oh, that's not good at all. Look at that. That wasn't even... That was pinch tight. That's terrible. Maybe they are only meant to be that certain torque, but... Yeah, no thread lock be used on that one. I decided to use what I call a jockey strap, which I've been told is actually called an octopus strap, just over to that side to hold it on. So it's away from the disc when I take the wheel off. 
I thought it was called jockey strap. Apparently it is called an Oki strap. No, there's no apparently. It is called an Oki strap. Oh, there you go. Yeah, maybe. Got me. Trust me now here. Yeah. This is for my Australian people. She's dirtier than a girl from King's Cross. Did you really screw that? Okay, while well, I've got the wheel off, I haven't replaced the disc yet, but I thought I'd just show you the inside of it, if you can see. It's pretty gunky. And um, I thought I'd go ahead, give it a good scrub down with a brush. Okay, as you can see, I gave it a good clean in there, and then I just gave it a good clean in here. Cleaned up the rods and the connecting pieces as well, and then, while I was doing that, I had a look at the brake caliper. And have a look at how disgustingly dirty that is. I scraped off a little bit, just so you can see. Let me try and get a higher angle. And it's feral. So, while I was taking this off and cleaning the caliper, I thought I'd check out the fluids. And I discovered this. It's green. Actual green green. And if the light can flick over to the other one, this one's gold. See? Gold. Green. So I've drained that dirty, disgusting swamp water of brake fluid out of it. It's all down in here. It's really green. The camera seems to make it look a slightly different tinge. But the rear brake caliper was certainly a mystery. I started with trying to use a G-clamp and some pliers and some Allen keys. And then I tried this and then I discovered it has, I don't know if you can see it there, a screw in there. And I could not figure out, for the life of me, why... Oh, let's just not go back in. And then I realised the T-Max having a handbrake, the handbrake turns it and then it pulls it back. Uh, obviously because the piston can't go back in, but... They devised some sort of contraption to go ahead and allow the little spindle on the other side to turn, which then temporarily adds pressure and then releases it when you disengage the handbrake up here. Now, what that does is it means when you're putting the piston back on, it won't go on. So that's why the piston here has this weird little mechanism, oh, uh, what do you call it, recess, that you actually put in and you turn it to put the caliper in. But I decided, huh, I'm going to clean it. If you can see inside there, which uh, the camera's not going to show, let me just pick her up and see if the camera's gonna yeah so you won't even show you but if I zoom in on this cardboard look at all the filth that come out of it all these little dirt specks and uh, you can't even really see it here but it was disgusting all of that little crap come out of that now I probably should do a, a piston rebuild restoration kit however the rubbers are nice and clean and they're not barred I'm just gonna stick it back in and run it for now and then later on order the parts
hopefully you can see all this. So, we're going to try the big torque wrench again. Yes! Hey! Good. This is by Metal Gear from Australian Company. I've already part opened it and then it came with this pamphlet that says degrease disc before fitment so the reason you have to degrease them with methylated spirits or some other popular alcohol I don't know what it's called is because they get stored like this with a coat so they don't corrode it happens in Byron Bay stays in Byron Bay <laughs> So you just give it a good little rub down and the other side. What a this is a seriously thick disc. I don't even know if you can see it. This is like it says here 4.5 millimeters minimum thickness, otherwise the get the standard thickness is 5 mil. So once it gets down 4.5 you've got to replace the disc with another one, but that is a seriously thick disc. Thick. I did some research online and I found out these are all 16 newton meters. However, I don't trust 16 newton meters. I'm going to do 20 newton meters. Now this one here that I've, I've painted with gold, which you probably can't see unless you go from the screen. Uh, that's the one that has to use the quarter inch, not the six mil. Good thing about this is it can only be mounted one way. So you can't actually accidentally mount the disc the wrong way around because these grooves are recessed for these. Now before I put it on, I'm going to get the gold marker and mark this gold. Might look a bit silly to some, but not to me. This piece here will go on the other side so we can first off turn this wheel around the other way. This coupling goes in like that. So, So if you can bring the camera in here, all of this is going to get greased. Not too much, but just a good enough blob. I'll probably put a little bit more on that side, just to be sure. Right, and if we move back a tad, on the other side of this wheel over here, is some more I have to grease we don't want to go too overkill but enough that it's lubricated that should be enough you've got this I already lubricated earlier I'm going to take this off and stick it down because if you come around to my left now I'm going to pick it up and try to drop it on that little part up in here, which shouldn't be too hard if I can line it up. <coughs> hmm, look at that. Come around the right side for me. There's in there. There is a trick to it. You try and put most of it down the bottom because that is going to get pushed through as you bring it up. Okay, you can see, can you see the score marks here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Some people might go, that's too much, Grace. Who knows? It's never really in the instruction manual for how much of this stuff we should put on. See a lot of it's pulling up. Trying to figure. Can you come around the other side? And my left, and you should see. In a second, and there's nothing to hold this to show unless you're able to hold that. You should see it come through. Awesome! I'd rather have the excess stuff I can wipe off than not have enough in there to begin with. Thread lock. Hopefully that it's a little bit of thread lock. Probably put a little bit too much on them, but let's see. Yeah, I put a bit too much on. Okay, I don't recommend using a hand G clamp to hold that side in because I don't have the uh, 15 mil internal socket thingy to go there. While we tighten this up. But, and that's how we're doing this one. We've bled the brakes, and everything is good to go. Now, we do have a little bit of brake friction. However, that is normal until the ba uh, bakes, geez, brakes let in a bit more, and that'll be fine because all blacks kind of have that little moment, so don't stress too much about that sound. Haven't put this part on, gonna do that tomorrow. When I went and dug out my old front stand, which I very rarely use, and um, had to set it up, I forgot how to work it, so it's on there now. I might actually have to, this is a 14 mil, Let's see if the camera can show you that. All right, that's 14 mil. Uh, all right, six mil. There we go. Right, that was a bit tight. Don't want it too tight. Sorry, I don't want it too loose. Okay, I thought I'd just show you a little bit of progress. They're the discs that I've taken off. And here is the front calipers. Now, what I've done here is I've taken the pistons out and I've cleaned them. I've bled the brakes, which sucked, but it needed to be done. It's up there. And I've given them both a really good clean. Now, I don't recommend most people do that if you don't have the time because that was a solid four hours of me mucking around, cleaning, doing that, this and that with brushes. And you can see under here, look at all the grit that came out between these calipers. It's remarkable. They're still pretty dirty on the inside, but look, I'm happy with them. They're working great. Now it's time to clean my hands and fit the new discs. And we are all done. We have the rear and the two front discs put on. This is the old disc. I don't know if the camera is going to show how pitted it is and grooved. Here is the new Metal Gear disc. It's awesome. Australian engineering. See that? Metal Gear. M Gear. So we have two new fronts. There and there and a new Metal Gear rear. Now I've already done, uh, as per the instructions of the discs, about 200 Ks. So the camera might show a little bit of what looks like scoring, but it's not scoring, it's very smooth. These are the old discs. See if I can zoom in a little bit there and show you just 
if we can get in focus. Yeah, look at that. That's disgusting. So, we are done. Uh, what's next? New front tire. What do you reckon, Jax? Hey, Jaxie. New front tire. New front tire. That's all that's needed. And then we're good. Thanks for watching. Do you want to say goodbye? Okay, sit. 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 He's food motivated. Want some food? And then you shake hands. Sit. Shake. Good boy. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.